Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, Inghams are on their travel. Well, they're not on their travels. They're on the move. They are going, they are leaving, and they are moving in to their new house. Although, I don't know if they actually moved in. They they were moving things in anyway. Uh, furniture and such. So, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? I, I hope you're as excited as I am to find out exactly what kind of furniture that they um they bought for the new place and how that's progressing i'm still actually baffled by this whole move right i'm not gonna lie i am baffled i get why they might want to move away and how they think that they're in like the safest country in the world and that there's never going to be anything wrong and things are not going to happen to them right that's what they think however Moved somewhere else, somewhere where there's something going on, some something like you know, I don't know. Just what what they're doing is uh, even if you move into Dubai, find a property which is um like kind of like the one you have at home. I mean, I don't like the one that they have in the UK. It's shit, right? I wouldn't live there if you paid me, but it is suitable for their size family right and the th things that they like to do is suitable for them where they're moving to is wholly unsuitable right in every way shape and form so i don't really get it anyway enough of me babbling on you don't want to listen to me when you could be listening to the sweet sweet dulcet tones of sarah Inga. So we're actually moving things over to the new house today. I don't oh. think we're going to sleep there tonight, are we? Uh, yeah. Well, there's a couple of things still left to come, which will arrive tomorrow, unfortunately. So they're, not, they're not stuff that are priority for sleeping there, though. This is bed. Oh yeah, we've ordered Isabel a bed. Long story short. <laughs> so if you've been watching the vlogs, then you'll know Isabel's got quite a small room in the new house. Anyway, Isabel chose a small room. Well, she's just like a martyr, isn't she? She chose the small room so everybody else gets the bigger rooms. Isn't that lovely? However, the room that she's chosen is like a maid's room, right? Every house on these blocks, they, they all have maid's rooms, which I find quite offensive, if I'm being honest. I, I'm trying to understand why you would need a maid's room. Why you need a maid, for one thing. Is it commonplace in Dubai to have a maid to the extent that they have a specific room uh, for them to stay in uh, just no i mean be be you know by all means hire a maid if you want to hire a maid right but don't assume that you're going to have a maid yeah anyway so because she got the smaller room we couldn't decide between popping a single bed in there or a sofa bed and she decided that she wanted the sofa bed that was like a lot more money than the single bed but we were willing to do it because because money's no object am i right sarah and obviously you're willing to give your child who's by the way been the one of the sole reasons why you've been able to move across to dubai um yeah you're you're willing <laughs> Uh, to actually give her the bed that she wants. I know, it's fucking... Baffles me. Her brain actually baffles me. Because <laughs> you do realise that Isabel was one... Well, probably the most pimped out child in the family. She was the one that drew in a lot of the, the original fan base. She was the one that um, people came to watch. She was the relatable one, right? And... Um, you must know that, right? She She's made more money for you, Sarah, than any of the other kids have, right? That's not to, to downplay the other kids' role in the uh, child exploitation, right? But Isabel was the original one. She was the face of the channel. She was the one who drew in all the similar-aged children, you know, the teen girls who wanted to be like Isabel. So, um, yeah now now you are um you are willing to give her the bed that she wants even though it's a little bit more expensive i know <laughs> you've got to hand it to sarah she's a fucking moron 
because it made it more cozy, I guess, in there for her. And she said that she'd like to like put the sofa bed up on a night time. And then it turns out when the sofa bed's been put in that room now, it fits great, it looks lovely. And then when we like transformed it to the bed, she didn't say anything. I don't want Isabel to come off as like a spoiled child here because it wasn't even her idea to do the change, it was mine and Chris's. How would she come across as a spoiled child? <laughs> She's nearly 19. She's not even just an adult. She's um, well into adulthood now, right? You do know that, don't you? She would not be a spoiled child. I get she's still your child, right? I get that much. But in terms of being a spoiled child, she can't be that because she's not one. If you see what I'm saying, yeah. She didn't say anything, but when we converted the sofa bed into a bed, I don't think any of us realised stupidly that the bed would pretty much be on the floor. It's pretty much a mattress on the floor, right? It just wasn't. It, did, it didn't feel cozy with a with a, like a the, the bed on the floor, like the sofa on the floor. And she didn't say anything, but if, I was like, oh, I didn't really think about the fact that the bed would be so low to the floor. When it yeah, the um, <laughs> the Ingham logic baffles me most people they go and um, they try out beds and stuff like that and they have a look around you know showrooms and stuff like that and they do they, they test them out but not the inghams no can't do that order online was it amazon you got it from probably amazon was it something like that but in any case i'm not quite sure what you're expecting to be honest um it's a sofa and it transforms into a bed yeah it's gonna be low down it's not gonna be fucking high up like a normal mattress is it that's not it's not how it works um but yeah no, none of the the uh the ingham clan could work that one out uh which um is uh, worrying to be honest with their the homeschooling that they do that they, none of them are intelligent enough to have a, a thought process it was down and it was like yeah i didn't really think about that either i'm lower than my desk I think Aurora's got stuck under the unit again. <laughs> Aurora's on the move. So last night over dinner, we were talking about it and I was like, would you like a single bed? She's like, oh no, don't spend more money on me a bed. Absolutely fine. Honestly, I don't mind. I'm only sleeping in there. It's not a big deal. Um, but then me and Chris decided, do you know what? Let's just order one. You could tell deep down she wanted the bed. I want her to feel comfortable in there. I want her to be cozy for her. I want it to be what she wants. So we ordered her a single bed last night and she's chuffed so that's good and i think we'll move the sofa bed should we move the sofa bed to our bedroom upstairs it'll be a nice chair in the corner it'll it? be a nice chair in the corner and also it'll be good for sometimes chris gets seriously jumpy legs and obviously i'm co-sleeping with aurora so some nights when he's disturbing us instead of him having to come down and sleep on the sofa which is what he sometimes does now you'll be able to put the sofa bed out she's moved back well, 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 the excuses of why Chris doesn't sleep in the bed sometimes, you know. I've heard it all now, his jumpy legs. Although, although, Sarah, I would have thought him having jumpy legs could have been you know, a bit of a turn on for you. Could have been, you know. But, um, alas, it was not to be. But now he can sleep on the sofa bed every night and you don't even have to touch him except for when you want babies which is the only thing the only time that you ever want to touch him under the unit babe if she's back under the cabinet she's so clever. she's so fast what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's worked out well but yeah long story short her bed's not coming till tomorrow and i forgot about that but we're moving things over today. It's actually about half past two in the afternoon right now. Chris has not stopped since he woke up. You need to get changed. I feel rancid. I've got like a... You're wearing three shades of green right now and you're... It's, no, it's not, not vibing. Like, it's not, I've got like a, Can you hear my voice? I've got a throat thing going on. I'm really like... No, you've got a bright green hat on, a khaki green t-shirt and bottle green shorts. And that is not the one. And then green flip-flops. Hang on, why has Chris got his beanie back on? Just, I was under the impression that he was never going to wear his beanie whilst in Dubai because of the temperatures are too hot. So am I right in thinking that the reason he's staying off camera at the moment is something more to do, like, like he's too ashamed of his of how he's looking at the moment? Because um, a lot of people have pointed out, right, that Chris has not been seen on the vlogs, not really. You know, we've seen his little um, toes and things like that, and his little flip-flops. But we haven't really seen him for a little while. 
Now, there's a lot of speculation as to why that is. So we're going to play a game. If you have any suggestions why Chris is staying off camera, please pop them in the comments down below and let me know what you think. Is it because he um, is uh, he's caught the sun, for example, and uh, he's ashamed of it? Is it something to do with his hairdo? Is it because he's just looking and feeling fat today? So, you know, that all those things, or is it something else? Let me know what you think. No! Oh, and they're all different shades of green, babe, no. Right, we're going down to the side again. Anyway, yeah, Chris has not stopped this morning. He's been running backwards and forwards to the houses for deliveries and internet and all sorts. Now he's just had an hour and a half Zoom chat, which just took up ages. So I was trying to keep the younger three quiet whilst the older three did the schoolwork and Chris was on the Zoom meeting. Oh, Sarah, don't tell me you were made to do actual parenting. They... Those, oh, those, those are the guys. those guys. Those fucking mean, aren't they? Making you parent your own children? No chance. No way. I, I don't believe it. Not for one second do I believe that Sarah Ingham would, um, <laughs> would actually pay her kids attention for one thing. But you know, you don't, you don't deserve that, do you? You, you brought those kids into the world. You've done your duty, right? You've done your part. Now is the part that everybody else needs to, to look after your kids and, and you can just, you know, you know, take take some time out on your own just to, to <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> Sarah, just entertaining, she is always entertaining. Now he's off, I've just pulled out all of the drawers that we've been using down here as like toy cupboards put them all in the living room floor i'm going to pack them all up guys if you watched yesterday's vlog then you might know we, i said we'd bought mila a little chair for the dining room table because it didn't come with seven it only came with six i kind of wish i'd have bought one of these high chairs instead so cute. you look so cute is that there mila <laughs> she's concentrating right now <laughs> i think you've put them on wrong <gasps> can you work out which ones are not correct well, no, no, Jace, let me do it. Wait. I know you're a big boy, you can do it. That's it. There we go. Well done, that's one. I think there's another one that's not quite right. Hmm. Good, that's perfect. There you go, yay! <laughs> you're so clever! <laughs> Wait, when do you do what? No, do do they're again? all right. Do it again, but make it a little bit more difficult. Just going around face. Also, she's sat in this high chair playing this game because the balls just get lost really easily. If they're just on a table, if she drops one, it just rolls off. And they're all going under the sofa and everywhere, aren't they? And, and one of the iron go on the sofa and get out. Yeah. I'll reach the balls. Reach the balls. Yeah, yeah well, right. we Anyway, this tray's really good. It stops them getting lost. So I was just stuck under Aurora, who's just had a big long nap, but she's in a very good mood now. You know when you said you were stuck under Aurora? I'm imagining um, <laughs> Chris being stuck under you. I'm sorry, I've got this sort of um, this, this brain um, perversion that's going on right now, imagining Sarah Ingham... Um, <laughs> I'm not I'm not even gonna say what I'm thinking. I think that it's um obscene, it's nasty, it's horrible, I'm being nasty and horrible, and I think that um I deserve to to, to go and sit in the naughty corner uh for my thought process. I know. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Nobody nobody I don't think gets my thought process which is fortunate it is fortunate because um to be inside my brain for one day would kill you off honestly it would be enough to kill you off so um be thankful you're not inside here and uh, let's move on <laughs> with life also it's all worth it you just have a long sleep yeah and we've just been told that the cleaners in the house they called them. Basically, Chris had to go around there this morning um, to 
sort out some Amazon orders and things. <gasps> Get that muzzy away from her. No, not on your face. Thank you. Um, to sort out some Amazon orders and things this morning, but they just basically rang us and said that they'll be done in the next 30 minutes, so we'll be able to go around to the new house. I swear when we've paid for professional cleans in the past in the UK, the clean of the house has taken like two hours. These guys have gone to town. They've been there since nine o'clock this morning. It's a deep clean, man. It's now nearly 5 p.m. So that has been a deep clean. We've basically been waiting for them to finish all day because we can't go to the house and start filling it with our own stuff from here. You know what I don't get, Sarah, is uh, first of all, you're complaining that you've had to wait for them all day and yet you're saying how quick they've been, okay? right but also you're saying that when you've paid for professional cleaners in the uk you've had to wait a lot longer than than it is over in dubai but a lot of the things that they say every day chris and sarah they're always going on about how everything's better it's all so quick and you don't have to wait and they're so more, much more efficient over in dubai and everything else but what they're not realizing is at what cost are these services right at what cost because um a lot of the time these workers are not paid a lot of money right they have to do a lot of hours for very little money and the inghams are more than happy to take advantage of that and it's just wrong that the rich um, put in quotation quotation marks the rich would just go over to dubai and take advantage of um, poorer people who need to work for money you know I, I just think that um it's morally corrupt until the deep clean had been done we didn't want to take more stuff out there and make their job harder by having to move things around so we've just left everything here so we're going to go around there now that I can get up and sort of all right, although I've just seen that Jace and Mila are fully stripped off in the garden and are playing in the paddling pool. Are you kidding me? They're living the best life right now. Living your best life, Jace. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Isla is sat here literally hugging. Sorry, guys, the battery cut off. I've just had to change it to a new one. But Isla is hugging this watermelon that I bought yesterday. So I think we're going to cut that open. Yes. This watermelon, oh, Rara. Sorry. It's a big one. Let's cut it. This is so excited. <laughs> no, that's, that's making me laugh. Chris's door. <laughs> You've been walking around this house with your shoes on for the last week, and now that it's been handed over, well, it got handed over a few days, but now that it's been cleaned, Chris is like, shoes off at the door. <gasps> We've been left water. We just set up a water subscription. We've got our first three bottles. Woohoo! Are you excited? You're going up straight up to your room? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing new in there yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, be careful. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, they have. Chris just came out and was like, oh my gosh, they've even cleaned the garden. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, this is so nice. It's so nice. It feels so, oh my gosh, it feels really weird and surreal. <gasps> oh my goodness so i'm not gonna lie sarah um that looks tiny doesn't it look tiny that that <laughs> you know they had this huge garden in in the uk in their house they had this huge garden with actual grass and yet now here <laughs> this little tiny thing and not only is it like astroturf right it's covered so there's no like sunlight getting in you you don't it's almost like it's indoors if you like right? it's not, it's not, it just doesn't feel like a garden it doesn't feel like you're outside there's gazebos all over this place um it's just very very weird and it does not feel natural whatsoever um and like it takes you two seconds to walk from one end to the other now i get that for some people having a garden that big is a dream right because not everybody has a garden myself included i'd love to have a garden even if it was that size i would love it but for going from you know the size of garden that they had which was a natural garden in the uk um uh, to this thing here oh my god <laughs> next 
Just it's a no from me. And they think that people are jealous. That's what I don't understand. It's like, yeah, this is the dream. We're living the dream, you know. Um, but it's not the dream, is it? It's just really, really not. This is so cool. This is so cute. This is just so cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at all this space oh, we've got. The sand feels nice in my wampings. The what? S sand. The grass feels nice in my wampings. Please tell me that. why you have got a cardigan on Even when it is 42 I think my degrees. I'm actually trying to get used to it, but actually, it's snowing because right. it's really cold in the house. Right? Yeah, it's cold so inside. I'm taking it off. Oh, it's nice when you wear feet it's on this It's so nice, isn't it? That's what Esme just said. It feels amazing. Well. It's nice on my wampings. Oh, it's so cool. This is so wonderful. And I'm going to unbox my he my egg check. Not unbox. No, I'm not actually. I'm just going to leave that packaged up for now. <laughs> oh, she's saying, where are you, Jace? Me and Jace, are you playing hide and seek? Yeah. She thinks she, she's gone to look for you in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> what are you doing? I know all of you guys are thinking, enough of the garden already. We've seen that. We want to see the house. We want to see the whole house. So I'm just letting you guys know that we are going to be doing a house tour. So, so many of you guys have been saying, there's so much space here, isn't there, Jace? Yeah. More space than the other house. Yeah, I thought. When you say more space than the other house, do you mean the the other one in Dubai? Because um, there's no way that there's more space in that house than your actual house in the UK. Um, I just, <laughs> there's just there's no room, not enough room to swing a cat, as they say. I don't like that saying, obviously, because I'm not going to swing any cats or any other uh, animals. But um, yeah, it's just it's not. It's not for me. Again, it's tiny. You love it. Yeah. Um, we are going to do a house tour. We're not going to be waiting until like the house is fully done and decorated because obviously that's going to take time, and you guys don't want to be waiting like weeks for, for us to do. Uh, and we're also, I don't think it'll it'll be done. No house is ever done, is it? You're always like, always you're always adding and things like that. So. Um, that's alright. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So we'll be doing. A, we will be doing like a, an an. Un unfinished house tour and then another house tour in a, in, a, in a month or two when we're completely done but we'll do one over the next couple of days like a proper show and like well maybe we'll do it tomorrow and move in for officially yeah we are officially moving in tomorrow <laughs> so maybe tomorrow we could do like a little a little run through because like I think because like the girls are like oh I don't want to show but, well I'll ask them they didn't want to show it the other day they might want to show it now that the beds are in and stuff I don't know they can just show they're empty and then finish because I think it's good to show like a before and after yeah, of yeah. places because we'll be decorating every room anyway so yeah yeah, we will. I mean, the, down here is like with our decor bits that we've got. Yeah, down we've still got a few more decor done. bits. Down here, it's cool. We've got a few bits to add, but um, pretty much done down here. We'll be able to show that. Anyway, what we're here for today is to build. So we've bought a few things. Like uh, I've got Aurora's um, baby walker. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I've got a baby walker that's arrived. So I want to build that. We want to build the water machine. The little corner table, the little coffee table thing. What else are we building today? We've got some garden lounger chairs, we'll build those. What else did we get? So Whatever, we've got a few other bits. Oh, so shoe storage. The stuff brimming out everywhere. So we're just gonna get rid of a few of the boxes and things today and do some building. What are you doing? You look so adorable. Well, watch this. Come on, come here then. Come on the cheeky. Come here, yeah. Are you coming? You are. Oh, you can do it. I'm falling, my man. Okay. Falling. Go on, big girl. Put something in front of Ryla on your phone. She's so close to being able to do it. Move her further because she's so good at reaching out. Are they too big? <laughs> I told you they were massive. Go you on. Go get it. Come on, <laughs> She's like, I don't want now. I want my mama. Are you coming to mama? <gasps> What's this? What's this? Come here, cheeky. Come on. Come on. 
Good girl. You can do it. Come on then. <laughs> oh, she's been such a Ted. Are you being cheeky? Oh my god, right, so I just want to point this out to you, Sarah, because um, I don't think you're getting the memo. Um, nobody wants to watch your child, all right, your baby. Nobody wants to watch her. You know, I can get it. I could understand it if it was, like, your family or your friends or something like that. They might want to see, like, an update about how your baby's getting on with the crawling and stuff like that but at the end of the day this baby's not there not everybody's baby if you know what i mean like why why are you showing your baby nobody cares nobody gives a fuck about your baby except for you right i don't mean that to sound cruel or anything like that but it is actually the the actual truth of the matter nobody gives a fuck because it's not their baby you understand it's not their baby i don't want to watch some rando rando's baby you know, that would make me weird. If you want to watch somebody's somebody's baby, then get your own baby. <laughs> so, just, just, you know, just stop watching other people's babies, right? Just, just stop it. You know, if you're one of those that want to watch um, some random baby on the internet. And stop it, right? You are facilitating these idiots um, who seem to think that other people want to watch their baby and, and are happy to show off their baby. Without the baby's consent, by the way, I, I just want to point that out. For those that are like, oh, it's just a cute little clip on the internet. It's not, not that deep and things like that. The baby didn't say that they want it to be on the internet, did they? Um, and if they did, let me know how and when they said this. And I'll check it out because um, I think you're full of crap, Sarah. Right, me and Chris just had an argument because... You're No, I'm not. Chris keeps putting the camera onto this setting because he says yeah. the colouring's better. I think this is horrible lighting. I think it makes me look yellow and it's not good colour. I prefer this colour that gives a more natural light, like this is the natural light. This is when I've got no yellow tinted filter over the top of it that just makes me look horrible. Well, not, not even makes me look horrible, I just think it just makes the lighting look horrible. Whoever's filming look horrible, whatever I'm showing look horrible. I don't mean me, I just mean in general. What do you guys prefer? Do you prefer Chris's yellow footage or my normal light footage? I love the yellow look, Sarah. Looks very, um... What's that thing called? For fuck's sake. I was gonna... I had a joke on the tip of my tongue, right? Uh, what's that thing called where, um, when you have yellow skin, right? That thing, what's it called? Anyway, yeah, that, that's what the, um, the, the yellow footage looks like, right? I'll just wait for everybody to say Chris is. I'm only joking. <laughs> Have you turned the aircon off? Yeah. It's not on. Can you pop it on? It might not be on. It's definitely not. It's really hot in here. Suddenly. Check out our sleek, nice new water cooler. We bought it yesterday from Ace. Or the day before from Ace, I can't remember. Is it the uh, day before? Day before, yeah. Um, we're going to put our first bottle of water on our first ever water subscription in Dubai. Don't pretend you're not excited to see this, guys. <laughs> I'm excited to put this on. I don't know why. Because I'm a geek, but you know. Here we go. Are ready? You, sh you said that like you're talking to Aurora. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Ready it's for so this? Cool that you put it on top and then you just push it down and it goes pop. Boom! There we go, we have water. There we go! We have a bit of water, anyway. going to work. So we're going to have the table here, the black coffee table here, and then the black cart here. Yeah, here, yeah. With the cups yeah, and things on. Yes, sweet Yeah, we've got, got, yeah, we got them to build but today. How, how do I like working? We're not sure yet, but we're just going to leave it for 10 minutes till we get the coffee table out, the cups and things out. There's no cups. And Aurora's baby walker. We're going to do Aurora's baby walker as well, that's right. Yeah. My happy girl. <laughs> What's this? She's like, I'm bored of waiting. I want it open. I got with a little roof. Just in case we're in the garden and the, sun, the sun's on her. What's wrong? 
Are you excited? Do you know what we don't have? We don't have no batteries. <laughs> this lights up and plays music. We don't have batteries. Get some from uh, California. California. Oh my god, what the heck? Why is there about 8 million pieces? You might need a screwdriver for that, you know. Then it comes in tomorrow. No! Wow. What is the play? 8 million wheels. Thank you, Mila. Yeah, we definitely need batteries for this. That's cool. Oh my goodness, that was a task and a half. It does all sorts of different things. Like this turns into like a rocking horse type thing. It also has this that kind of fits there, I guess, if your baby's a bit younger. Um, oh my gosh, I got that stuck on there now. Like it goes as like a net thing across if your baby's younger. It also has different height settings. And so we got it on the highest setting by accident. And then we didn't know how to change it. What are you doing? Oh, let's get him in a chair. You want to turn in your chair? Come here. Do you want to lead your dad? Come on then. Right, Reese, do you want to push her? Yeah. What was that? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. She's only just though. Maybe we'll have to put that um that this back this in, do you think? Her feet are pretty much on the floor. Though a full foot's not. <laughs> In a second, Jace. Okay. We need batteries. It lights up and plays music, but there's no batteries in it. But she's going to be so happy being able to be upright. Yay! Do you like it? Are we able to take this in the garden and everything? Yeah, you can push her, Jace, if you want to have a turn. <laughs> just be not too. Whoa! Just just be careful, not too fast. That's Whee! Clever so girl. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> not too fast. <laughs> Jace, not too fast! Oh my gosh. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> look at Aurora's face. I can't wait to get the twinkle lights and things in the garden. It's gonna look so nice. Yeah? I don't push her. Why? Because I need you to push her. I'm not sure about that. You don't have to push her. She'll be happy to just sit and watch you guys running around. Guys, I'm giving you a cheeky sneak peek of the living room area. As I can't decide what to do with these bloody floor mats that we bought. Why? <laughs> Am I the only one that doesn't see this as being natural? Why have you got a, a sofa which cuts off half the, the living room? Surely that will cut off, like... The space. I mean, the room itself is already tiny, right? So... By by cutting it off with a sofa, you're making it even tinier. You need to not do that, and it'll open up the space and make it look bigger, right? I mean, I'm not an expert at these things, but even I know that. Why have you done that? Why? Do you <laughs> it doesn't look right, does it? Oh my god, that I genuinely. I'm baffled. What is it with the sofas anyway? What's the obsession? How have you got so many more sofas? You've got about nine at home. Um, and already got at least three now here. Plus the sofa bed and <laughs> all sorts of these sofas. Anyway, let me know, guys, what your thoughts are about this in the comments down below. Why have they done that? Is it this? Is it a new, like... You, you know, I don't know. Right, just let me know. What's your thoughts on it? <laughs> they were like a necessity. I'm like, we have to have these. I think they're all right, actually, now. I, I was don't... like, we have to have them because th there, need there needs to be a space where we can sit Aurora and she'll be safe without just slipping on the marble floor. But then Chris said, we put like a rug down and Chris said, let's just leave the rug down. I was like, no, I don't want a rug at the back of the sofa. It looks so weird. Because we do we do have enough rugs to do that? But I was like, no, we bought the mats. I want the mats there. And then I was like, should we put the mats here, going down here, and move the water cooler to like over there? But I don't want Aurora to be like stuck behind the sofa when she's playing. Do you know what I mean? She'll be like stuck in between the sofa. And also the table's going there, the little corner table. Do you think she'll be she'll be like standing there though because she can't see anyone? So she does that no, around. because we'll all be around here in the dining room area, won't we? Playing. I think, I think it's yeah. fine. I think it's. But you're not putting your tent up on that. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, I do have like a little, um, a little pink like 
yurt type tent type yeah, thing. Three tents somewhere else. And I was planning on putting all the toys into the tent, but yeah, I kind of don't feel like a tent in the living room is going to be great, a great idea now. Oh, maybe the tent can be a garden tent. Oh, the tent could be a garden tent, yeah. But this will probably be fine. To be honest, it's just a space to store their toys. Like, we're a family. It's not a show home. Do you know what I mean? We're a family. That's true. No, it's not a show home. You need to get that <laughs> out of your head. It's not a show home. Me and Chris disagree with this all the time. And obviously, he's kind of low key joking, but kind of not joking. But Chris would have the house looking exactly like this forever. And I'm just like, no. We've got a family with young children. It's going to look lived in. There's going to be toys around. And that's what I wanted this space for. So that they've got their toys down here. If they want to take them outside, they can take them outside. If they want to play with them in here, they can play with them in here. And on a night time, I've just got somewhere. I'll probably get a toy box for this. And then I can put all the toys back in the toy box and just pop them on this mat with her baby walker and any other walkers that we get over the months, years. It can go on this play mat. I think it looks fine. Otherwise, this is a wasted space anyway. No one's going to sit behind the sofa and play. This is a good place. Away from the TV, concentrate on playing. Yes. I'm going to leave it here. I think oh, this is a good that. space. What? The lighting is beautiful outside right now. Sun's so saying it looks amazing. All I can hear is Jason Miller. <laughs> <Mila. laughs> They're too excited, man. Make it sure. All right, while, while Rod is having a little feed, I'm going to set this table up, which is going to go here with a nice fat lamp on. I don't think I do need tools for this table. I think it's just a hand yeah. jobby one. I've got a toolkit coming tomorrow on Amazon, but obviously that's coming tomorrow, not tonight. So we might be limited to what we can do today, but we'll see how we get on. Oh my gosh, she's crawling! Oh my gosh, you were crawling then. What the heck? I keep missing it on camera. When she gets preoccupied, she does it. Right, I'm going to just move this to here. She's going to be in the background. Oh, she's sat back up herself as well. She's so clever. She's really coming along now. I'm just going to film her. Because when I put the camera on her, she hates it. Well, she doesn't hate it. She knows, it. She knows that's what I mean, yeah. So I found, just listen to those words that Sarah has just said, right? When I put the camera on my baby, she hates it, right? So what does she continue to do? She'll find a way of doing it without her baby knowing. Don't you find that a little bit creepy? Just a little bit, maybe. Uh, maybe it's just me, you know. <laughs> But also, consent is a very important part. Um, it's a buzzword these days, consent, isn't it? And I feel like a lot of people are not allowing for their kids to give consent in this context, but just consent in other things too, you know? You know, if, if, um, if you've got, like... I don't want to get into that, but just always ask for consent if somebody doesn't want you to do something don't do it right that's the only thing you need to know right don't do something if somebody doesn't want you to always under any circumstances i know i'm getting into a, like a different debate here in my head but it's just a lot of things right now that i'm i'm hearing and you know a lot of people going through very difficult things and and having anyway i'm not going to get into like um a consent debate but just ask for consent for your fucking baby <laughs> to put her online she can't give consent there you go she knows and then she stops She's a big girl and we love her all the world. She's our little baby girl. Books touchy girl, it's the budgie touchy world. Go on, Laura. Laura. That's why I get too carried away. I don't even know my child's name. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I can't get this thing in here, babe. I can't even assemble a laundry basket. There we go, all done. Absolute bag in this was. Where's the, there we go. Does it go on there like that? Fits nice, nice and snug. So we bought two of these. Is that right? What's this for? Yeah, no, that's What's the Velcro? Yeah, What's the Velcro? Oh. It's because the lid flips off. Can you see the Velcro back here? Oh, okay. oh. oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. 
What about that then for a cool little laundry basket? No, Love it. No, it wasn't going to fit. But we've got one of them for laundry. That I'm just going to take through. Oh, and you've got you watch Rara. But one for the laundry room for washing, lights and darks. And then we've also got one under here for shoes. Cool. Right, so it's not quite fitting. <laughs> it's about that much too wide to fit on the laundry, on the washing machine. So I think I might just leave it stood up on the top. Works just the same. Open the door. Job's a good one. It's like a little cupboard. <laughs> I literally can't go. <laughs> um, what on earth is going on out here? What is this? You ready? One minute, Isla. Mila, what are you doing? You're going to get stuck in there. You're going to get stuck. You know what She likes to play kitten and pretend she don't want to do it. But do you actually want to do it? Do it, actually do it, actually, actually do it. Careful, Jace. Oh, my day. <laughs> we just, just got a little Amazon delivery. <laughs> Amazon man just came. Oh my gosh. It's all this? Jesus, I don't know. I do not it's know. All kinds of bedding, yeah. Let's get it all inside. Oh, is my husband in here? Uh, I think you do, Vaza. <laughs> oh my goodness. This looks so exciting. We've got the kitchen essentials. Oh, how I've missed this. <laughs> I got some new toys for my girl. New toys for I've got Rara. some new toys for Rory. Little haul. I got me and Chris a water bottle as I don't remember in that colour, but that's all good. I like that is massive, humongous. Comes with multiple lids, which is essential. Nice. Um and then, because me and Chris didn't have a water bottle basically, me and Chris are going out, like saying to the kids, can I, can I drink your water? I bought one when we got here, a pink one, and I absolutely love it, but I kind of stole it, which I don't mind, because everyone needs, everybody needs, don't mind, just come on when I moved then, everyone needs cold water one more. Yes, darling. We also got a tea sugar coffee. This was actually super cheap. I was so tired of looking for things the other night that I was like, I don't care. Any, just put any in the basket. So we ended up with hay sugar. Uh, best. Oh, sorry, but first tea. It's really funny writing. I couldn't actually work out what I just said. But first tea and then get coffee. But these look really bad. These were so cheap. They were literally like, £4 or something, £5 maybe. Do you know what, they're actually decent, I'm not going to lie. Like, we got a load of strip lights, galaxy light projector thingy my bobby do. We got a load of bedding, loads of duvets, duvet covers, sheets, um, pillows. We got another light projector. Little rainbow one. I got two packs of this just because when you're out, my skin always goes so dry when I'm on holiday, when I'm out in the sun all day. So I always like to keep my skin properly moisturized. So I got two bottles of that. What's this? Oh, there's some lovely garden lights. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I hope you don't, I hope you don't only get five bulbs. Oh no, you get 15. What are these for? This is nice. To go around the gazebo. How nice will that look? I bought what? The waste I got the bin. Yeah, there's other stuff in that box. There's a box full of treasures there. But I'm not going to show everything because it's a bit boring for all of you guys. You've got Isabel's lights there because I put them up now. Isabel's lights? Yeah, yeah. These yeah, nice. LEDs. I got your water bottle. Oh, babe, you love that. Alright, back at the holiday home. I mean, Esme a tag team it with dinner tonight. Esme is doing a pasta arrabbiata dish. And I'm cooking my carnivore steaks and eggs. Yeah, let's go, man. I cut it up. 
I've got a mouthful of it. Dragon fruit. It's so good. And I'm going to give Aurora some for the first time. So I've just got four little strips here. That's more sweet than the one we had at home. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. They're much more. So how are we doing, guys? Are you still with me? Are you? Are you really? <laughs> I hope so. These are the magical Dubai vlogs which are supposed to draw in the punters and I, you know, I I kind of would like some of those viewers myself, you know, people are interested in, in how it is to live in Dubai except they haven't shown anything of Dubai yet. Have they, have they actually done that yet? I mean, how long have they actually lived there for? I get that they're moving things and they're preparing the new house and stuff like that, and that's their priority, obviously. But have they actually shown anything of Dubai? Anything. Even a little bit, right? We've seen the pool. We've seen the beach. We've seen the malls, right? I'm struggling to to know that they've been anywhere else. They They had that walk once down, like, the... That, that front or something, I don't know. But they haven't really done anything since they've been there. You would, wouldn't you? I mean, especially if you want to draw in the people. Like, this is how a guide on how to live in Dubai or what it's like to live in Dubai. But they haven't shown anything of the, the place where they've moved to. It's very, very weird, right? It's almost like they're living in a little bubble within the, the city, which is... Um, yeah, it's very, very weird. Sorry. Anyway, um, if you've appreciated this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're getting so close to 11,000 subs, so please be one of those that make a difference. You all make a difference, I know, but, you know, until next time, please have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.